come from the 15th chapter of John, verses 9 through 17. Love each other. Then out of the word of God. As the Father loved me, I too have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy will be in you and your joy will be complete. This is my commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than to give up one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I don't call you servants any longer because servants don't know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends because everything I heard from my father I have made known to you. You didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you could go and produce fruit and so that your fruit could last. As a result, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. I give you these commandments so that you can love each other. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Love is a complex word, is it not? I mean, we hear it used all the time. Do we know what it means? <laughs> Ask a hundred people what the word love means, and I bet you get 50 different answers at least. People say, I love my wife. Some people say, I love his wife too. <laughs> Maybe I love my cats. I love cherry cheesecake. <laughs> I love to garden. I love to paint. I love old movies. I love you name it. You may have seen on the internet how small children define the love when they were asked about it. I've got a few of them here. When my grandmother got arthritis, she couldn't bend over and paint her toenails anymore. So my grandfather does it for her all the time, even when his hands got arthritis too. That's love. When someone loves you, the way they say your name is different. I like that. Love is when someone hurts you and you get so mad, but you don't yell at them because you know it would hurt the people. I don't know how good we are at that one. <laughs> Some of us. <clears throat> Love is when mommy makes coffee for daddy and she takes a sip before giving it to him to make sure it tastes okay. <clears throat> Love is like a little old woman and a little old man who are still friends even after they know each other so well. I thought that was great. Love is when mommy sees daddy all smelly and sweaty and she still says he's handsomer than Robert Redford. <laughs> Love is when your puppy licks your face even after you've left him alone all day. We'll see how that works out today in the thunder. <laughs> you really shouldn't say I love you unless you mean it. But if you mean it, you should say it a lot because people forget. I like this. In John 15, Jesus says he loves us exactly like the Father loves him. And he wants us to love each other as I have loved you. Now what did Jesus mean by that? I think about other passages in the Bible where we see Jesus loving people. And there's a lot of them. He loved the religious people who still had questions, such as Nicodemus, and he loved them with patience. He loved sinful and outcast people, such as the Samaritan woman at the well, with compassion. He loved little children with open arms. He loved the disciples by humbly washing their feet serving them. 
We should all be challenged by the command to love this way so genuinely and sacrificially. Instead, some of us, not all of us, but some of us, we tolerate some people, ignore some people, 